Hello everybody, it's me again. I haven't done a Sims 2 video in a very, very long time. It's been years. So today I'm going to do a custom content organization video today. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fully delete custom content. Now I know that that's easy for some, but some people run into glitches. Now some people delete custom content by going into the downloads folder and deleting the files itself. Now the problem with going into your downloads folder and deleting the custom content from there is sometimes the file is named something totally different than it is in the game, so it becomes really hard to figure out what content is which. Other people go within the game and they click on an object and they select delete. But the problem with that is that some people have a glitch where they go and delete an object from their inventory and when they log into the game next time it's still there and it's super super frustrating. Now the process that I'm going to teach you to get around this is very tedious and very time consuming but it will work around the Sims 2 glitch. Not everybody has this problem but I'm making this video for the people who does. I am on a Windows 10 operating system, it's 2019 and I'm still playing The Sims 2, and I have the Origin version of The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection installed. Now if you have the Origin version of this game, make sure your game is up to date by selecting the Update Game option in Origin, just to make sure that you have everything you need before you do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up your neighborhood, and then you need to create a new lot. Make sure the size of the lot is the largest that you can get. Then enter in the lot like I have already. Make sure you flatten your lot by opening up build mode, clicking terrain, and clicking the flatten lot button. So I named this lot delete these tables. Last night I went through and deleted all the seating that I didn't want, so now today I'm going to be doing surfaces. So I named this lot delete these tables. So I'm going to go into buy mode open up my surfaces, I'm going to start with counters. I'm going to go through and delete all of the surfaces that I don't want. So in order to do this the right way, without running into the glitch that it appears back into your game, I'm going to start placing out all the things that I don't want on this lot. That's why it's important to open up a new lot that is the largest. So I'm going to go through and delete all that, and then I will be back to tell you the next step. Alright, so now you can see I'm already done with the counters, but I wanted to give people a tip. So with things that go on walls and ceilings, such as pictures and lights, as well as hanging cabinets, it helps to add the cheat move objects on. Because if you're on an empty lot and you're trying to get rid of lights, the lights obviously need a ceiling to hang on to. So if you control shift C and put down move, move objects, one word, and then on, as you can see when I go into my lights, and you go to hanging lights, so we drag and drop this light right here, and it hangs without a ceiling. So if you would like to delete anything that hangs on walls or ceilings, make sure you enter that cheat. Please also note that you can't delete Maxis objects, only the custom content that you've downloaded. So now I've finally placed out all of the surface items that I want to get rid of. So as you can see, some of these are blue, that means they have broken links, so we want to get rid of those. So after you are completely done, you want to save. And then you want to exit back out into the neighborhood. Alright, so now I'm back in my neighborhood. Now this is the lot where I put my tables on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that again, but don't enter it. You're going to click on this right here, package lot. Then you're going to click on package lot to file. Packaging, packaging it to the sims2.com doesn't work because that website doesn't exist anymore. So click after your lot has packaged, you can now bulldoze the lot because you won't be needing it anymore. Now that that's all finished, we're going to exit the game and start step 2. Okay, now that I've added all the objects I want to get rid of to a lot, I packaged the lot. So next, we're going to make a new folder on our desktop. I'm going to name it 
delete these. Okay. Now you need to go into your EEA games folder that's lo located in documents. Now I'm in the EEA games folder under documents. I'm going to click on the Sims 2 Ultimate Collections. Then I'm going to go down to package lots. And these are the lots full of stuff I want to get rid of. I'm going to move these completely into the new folder. Next, you must have the clean pack installer enabled, and more than likely you have it installed if you have custom content. But if for some weird reason you don't have it, I'm going to put the link in the description. But this program is necessary. I'm going to unpack the first one and then the second one afterwards, so go ahead and do that. Okay, now the clean pack installer is open. So what you're going to do is make sure all of these are checked, and more than likely they are automatically, then you're going to click install. Now instead of saving it to the download folder, you need to uncheck default installation, and click on this box right here, and select the browse option. We're going to pick the folder we just made. So I'm going to select the folder I made, and then I'm going to install it to that folder. I'm also going to do the second file that I made since I have two files. I'm going to unpack that too. This could take a while because if you have a lot of custom content it's going to take a long time. So give it some time. So you'll now get a pop-up saying that the files were successfully installed. So after you're done installing all of your content to the new folder, just exit Clean Pack Installer. Okay, now we're on to step three. Now we need to open a duplicate remover program. The best one to use and a free one is called AllDupe. A-L-L-D-U-P, all one spelling. I'll also put the link in the description on where to download that. We're going to open up that program right now. What we're going to make this program do is compare the files in the downloads folder as well as compare the downloads in your new folder. So when you open this up, make sure everything is unchecked. And then what you're going to do is open up both your new folder and the downloads folder. So what we're going to do now is you're going to open up both the folder that you made as well as the Sims Downloads folder. So click on the Downloads folder and make sure you're in both. And then what you're going to do is click on the search bar up here, copy that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a folder for it to search. So you double click on any of them and you enter in a new folder name. So you enter in the, the link that it gives you, select OK, and then you're going to do the same exact thing with the EA Games download folder. Now I've already done that last night, so we can close out of these folders now. So I'm going to make sure the new folder is checked, and the EA Games download, download folder is checked. What that is going to do is it's going to compare custom content in both folders and find duplicates. So now we get to the point port where we look for duplicates. So to start the search, all you gotta do is go up here and select start search and it will now look for duplicates. Give it some time because it does take time. Okay, now it's found all the duplicates. If you click on this arrow, it'll show you both folders that the, the file is selected in. So what we want to do is we want to make sure this duplicate remover removes files from the EA Games folder. And the easiest way to do that, because if you go down and click every single one, it's going to take forever. So in order to only select custom content in the EA Games download folder, is we're going to go to this icon up here that is a folder with a check mark in it. Click on that, and then where it says EA Games download folder, you're going to click these little little dots right here. It's going to open up a window and ask you to select a folder. So select the downloads folder. And when you do that, it'll only select 
files in the EA Games folder. Now, we're going to remove them. To remove them, go up here, click that piece of paper with the X on it to delete it. All you need to select is delete files. Don't mess with anything else here. Just say yes. Now it's going to go through and delete all of the files that you want deleted. Alright, the duplicate file finder has deleted all the stuff that I wanted out of the downloads folder. So now we can exit out of this. And for the easiest part, all you gotta do is take your folder that you made and delete that too. The last thing you need to do is to go back into your EA Games folder and into the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection and delete the cache files as well as thumbnails. This will clear up any extra thumbnails and thumbnails are just pictures of your objects. So delete those, close out, and then empty your recycle bin. And that's all you need to do. I know that this is a very tedious project, but it ensures that the custom content you don't want will be deleted. Thank you for viewing this video. Be sure to subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more I will make videos.